Hey y'all, we making an enemy mad, believers. So let's just keep on doing what we do. As long as we are doing what's pleasing to God. Because that's all God, that's all I want to do. I just want to please God. I want to be pleasing to him. Give God reverence that he deserves. He is worthy to be praised. He's all, all power, honor, glory, worship, dominion, praise, glory, everything to the most high one, living, true, sovereign God. All things. I put nothing above him. Not my will be done. His will be done on earth as it is in heaven. See, so God is raining down his blessings. He's also letting people see the curses, the generational curses, the soul ties, the things that just don't work in the eyes of the Lord, the things that are displeasing. He is exposing them in the spirit. Some people don't like what they see. Some people don't want to admit it. That's on them. The condition of a person's soil, their soul, is not your cross to bear. It's not your burden to bear. That's on them. They soil is on them. You sow your seed, do what you do, and you keep on going. And may God open their eyes so they may see in the spirit. And he will, if they ask them, if they ask God, he will. What you, because God said you, you have not... Because you don't ask. So you have to open your mouth and ask for the things that you... Because he already knows what you need. He already knows what you want. He just said, open your mouth and ask. And be patient and wait on the Lord. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Acknowledge him in all your ways and he will direct your path. Say the Lord's prayer. Repent for the sins that you knew of, you didn't know of. Repent for your soul ties. Repent for getting in bad, weird relationships with people that you thought was the one. Y'all got a trauma bond. Let it go. Let it go and let God do what, let God do what God does. Let God be God. And we as people, we just need to learn how to, you know, let let just re release our will because it's too many like people who always want to impose their will on somebody else and make another person feel bad or try to gain control and oppress them. Ain't nobody having that. That's from the enemy. That's from the kingdom of darkness. And it won't enter the kingdom of heaven, right? It won't enter. It can't because it's dark. Mm -mm. And that's why the enemy mad because the enemy know he don't have much time left to have control of the narrative of, the, of you know, some of his minions, some, the other people's, the, people, the kingdom of darkness. That's right. So when they see the light, they don't know what to do. They screw face. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they start manifesting, you know, they start twitching. You just watch people face. And I'd be like, oh, mm, okay. Hello. <laughs> and, um... That's it. But we don't battle against flesh and blood, principalities, rules of darkness, wickedness, and high places. So we have to use Ephesians 6.13 and walk, you know, walk peaceably and understand why a person is the way they are. So judge not, at least you be judged. Um, but it's very interesting just to see a person's layers begin to unpeel and you start seeing things in the spiritual eye through spiritual discernment and then you begin to analyze each aspect of trauma or dysfunction and so it it then leads to you understanding why people do what what they do and how they operate and a person's astrological sign tells it it tells a lot it tells most things and i don't worship that but it plays a role that's that's wisdom of god that's nicodemus and the apocrypha because everything is biblical you know jesus was born you know christmas under the star you know so everything is biblical and they were born at certain times and seasons 28 seasons in the book of ecclesiastes so um god works in in numbers god works in strange and mysterious ways and if you seek his kingdom he will by the Holy Spirit, he'll reveal to you what he needs to reveal to you. All you got to do is seek the Lord's face. So, and that's beautiful. Mm, that's why I'm just watching these girls like, hey. And then I seen the sunset. And God is like so good. God is amazing, actually. And excuse me, I'm looking a little rough, but it'll be all right, you know. She's still here. <laughs> but no, but for real though, I love every, I love people. You know what I'm saying? I don't like their ways because a lot of people be on that flugazy stuff. I'm not with that. But, you know, it is what it is. 
You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I recognize it for what it is. And I move accordingly. All right. God bless you. Shalom. Peace.